Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Fan Perspective. I am your host Nathan Lyle and this uh, is the WNBA 2013 Power Rankings. First of all, I feel the need to say that I am in no way associated or affiliated with the NFL or any of their sponsors, blah, 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 blah. Basically, no one is paying me to say this. This is something I came up with on my own. And we are going to start with number 12, and I selected the Seattle Storm. And the reason they are at the bottom is because it's something I discussed in a video I put a while back. Sue Bird, Lauren Jackson, and Ann Waters, they are all gone. They will not be playing for Seattle in the 2013 season. You know, the absence of Lauren Jackson for the first half of the 2012 season was definitely felt. You know, the Storm started the season 1-7, and, and even in the second half of the year when she came back, she and Bird, they were both in and out of the lineup, hobbled by injuries. And when they made it into the playoffs, they barely got in, and that was mostly due to lack of competition. And when I, I feel that most teams in the league this year took a step forward, but this team, I think they just they took huge leaps backwards. You no, know, Sue Bird and Lauren Jackson, they're two future Hall of Famers. You know, Ann Waters, she's a veteran who you know you can count on. And yet, so now the three of them missing, you're definitely gonna feel that when you're watching this team play. I still think they've got a great head coach, you know, one of the best in the league. They've got enough key pieces in place. I can see them pulling a few upsets, playing spoiler to some of the different teams down the, in the league, especially going down the stretch run. I just I just don't feel like they have what it takes to get into the playoffs, just mostly based on, how, like I said, how they played last year during Lauren Jackson's absence. You know, they, ha they definitely struggled, and now Lauren and Sue, neither of them are going to dress up at all. If, and that's just, it's just sad news. On the go one hand, though, in 2014, they got a damn good shot of winning the championship because they're going to have a top three draft pick. And, and so you're going to have a, a future star teaming up with Bird and, and Jackson. And all I can say is just, it's too bad Griner wasn't the senior next year.